I want to talk about how I'm delivering our videos within our Elementor website course and I'm not using YouTube and there's a big reason I did that. Over here we have the video widget at the moment and I'm just going to shrink this down for a moment like that. So this is using the video widget and you can see that I've gone and entered, entered in a YouTube URL. The trouble with it is that you have the watch on YouTube, you have the title at the top and when it is playing and I'm just going to make sure the sound is muted, you will see the word YouTube down here as well and I don't like that because you can click it and it will take you to YouTube but also it means that they may go away and start looking at other stuff and then they've now deviated from your website and that kind of misses out the point. And I've seen people where they've done promos on their websites as well and they do use YouTube. Now there are a few ways you could get around this and I'm not keen on those ways anymore. You could use Vimeo. Now the trouble with Vimeo is that you are limited. Now with YouTube, you can add loads and loads of videos for free. You can upload for free and away you go, but you have all of this branding of it on top of that. Vimeo restricts the amount you can add. Now it says 60 videos here, but that's not entirely true. That I mean, that is 60 videos for the entirety of your plan for the year in effect. And also you are restricted to 20 gigabytes per week. That is a major, major problem in my opinion, because my course in total was 42 gigabytes. Sorry, did I say megabytes? 42 gigabytes you're allowed is what I have for my videos. You're allowed 20 gigabytes here. So I could do 20 one week and then wait seven days and do another 20. I don't like that restriction. If I'm paying for a service, I want to be able to get my videos on. Presto Player was the other one and I have been using this in the past but I've kind of fallen out of favour with this. Number one, if you want to get subtitles imprinted onto here you have to kind of go via another third party. So you've got to get Presto Player and then you've got to use like something else to get your subtitles in as well. Also you might need to use Bunny CDN as your video hosting to then feed into Presto Player if you wanted to have the security aspect. You're probably going, Imran, where are you going with this? Look, if you were to now play this and right click, you would get the URL for that video. And if you've got this as part of a course, you, you want it to be protected. Presto Player is meant to offer that, but you've then got to push it through Bunny CDN to get the full security so that people can't right click and get the URL. Then you've got to use another third party to get the subtitles as well. That's a lot of faffing around. I've got loads of videos I want to get from A to Z really quickly and that is where Muse.ai came in. I hadn't heard of this and then when I started probing and asking people, quite a few started going, yeah, we knew about this. We've been using this quite a while. It's really good. This is really, really simple. $5 a month and yes, I know it's an overhead, but when you work it out, Vimeo is going to be $9 with restrictions. Presto Player, you'd have to pay a license fee uh, for that, um, which is annual. Then you have um, Bunny CDN, which is minimal. But then you've got to get your video, get your subtitles in, do the, all of that, you know, feed it all through. There's a lot of legwork there. This does the auto generation of your subtitles or captions. This provides 4K playback. This gives you a heck of a lot. And the use of this is so simple. It's just Brilliant. Once you're logged in, you can just start adding in your videos and you can view it in many different ways with grid. You can even have a list as well. You can view it in detail. I'm not here to talk to you about all of the features, but it is really simple. You just click upload, you go and upload your video in. It's, it's quite quick. It's about the same time as when you upload a video into YouTube, but I have found it to be a little bit quicker than that. And then once it's done that, about the same time as YouTube would then just do its processing, it does that here and it then goes and generates your, um, your captions and subtitles. And what you would then do to add this to a page like over here, I'm just going to go over to any one of these videos, decide if these videos are hidden or for instance, only you can ever access them on here or are they going to be public? I always go for hidden in terms of visibility so you can only see that if I've put the link somewhere and this is what you would do. You would go over to any one of these videos. We'll just go to this intro one here and what you do is go to share. I'm going to go to change visibility just so you can see. You got public which you wouldn't really want to do for a course. Um, you got unlisted 
but that means that anyone could just share the link. What hidden means is that is you cannot share the link. If you go with unlisted, you could share the link and someone else could now share that link elsewhere on Twitter and still view it. Here, it is hidden. It means it is only visible on that page. You can also add a password as well. So the, so the video could be on your website, WordPress, as a course doc, promo, whatever, or course content lesson. But they have to enter in a password to view it. I think that's a little bit of overkill, you know, with like the two-step authentication and stuff like that. God, I hate all that stuff. You can also configure the video restrictions. So if you were to now go and pop in your domain, you have to be on that domain to view the video. Again, that is all provided within Muse.ai. I mean, I'm, I'm not putting any affiliate link, anything down below, okay? I would love for you to go and use it. Let's go here and hit share. And this is what you do to embed it now. There's not a lot you can do here, but don't worry about that. You just go to embed. I would then scroll down until I get to advanced embed options. And this is where I now just want to, look, well, what I do, sorry, I set it to be responsive. So that means now it will resize, you know, no matter what device you're looking at this on. So when you're looking at the mobile, it does that. If you go for manual and you set it as 576, it might not look so good. So I go for responsive. You can go for fit or fill as well. I leave it as standard. If you go for minimal or no controls, well, I'm not a fan of videos where you don't have a single control on there. So I leave it as a standard. I do not show the title. I do not show the search. I will show the subtitles, but you can get rid of that if you want. And I will center the play button. So my settings are literally that. Responsive, standard, show subtitles, center play button, okay? I'm not gonna link, I'm not gonna, you can auto play if you want, that's up to you, um, but I'm not gonna link to the video page. I'm not, I, uh, I'm not gonna mute at the start because there is no auto play on the minute. I'm not gonna loop it, I'm not using an iframe, no, 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 that. I mean, all you do is hit copy to copy the code, go over to your page, go and grab the HTML widget, okay, like that, drop that in, and then you drop this in there. So can you see here, we've got the title over there. You can see the words. You've got the word uh, watch on YouTube and I hit play and you've got YouTube over there and you've got all the normal YouTube controls. You've got your settings, your quality, all of that. What do you get with Muse? Well, look at that. There is nothing there, okay? And I hit the play button. Hey, welcome to the course. I'm Let me just, setting. there you go. You've got the volume there, okay? So you've got the volume setting, you've got the time, you've got the pause button. You'll notice there that the caption, the, it still said welcome to curse or something. That's because I haven't updated it. Now over down here, you do have the option to do the full screen. So it will go to full screen as you would over here as well. Um, and you also have a setting down here where you can either put the subtitles on or off. We'll leave it on and you can set the quality as well. So I've only uploaded as 1080p. If you'd uploaded as 4K, it would show 4K there. And I know it does because I have done that on another video. And you can also adjust the speed as well. Just to prove I'm not lying, if I go over here to this course and we go to share and I go to embed, I go to advanced, uh, make sure everything is responsive, standard, da, 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 da. let's copy that. Let's go back over here and just paste this code in and hit update. We've now played this video. If I go here, you will see the quality is 4K there over there and it's coming through and it looks, I mean, it looks even more crystal clear than me right now. That, that's how cool it is, okay? Uh, so Muse.ai, I'm not affiliated with them or anything whatsoever, but if you've got courses and you want to have them without using third-party solutions, I mean, this is a third-party solution, don't get me wrong, but I've been testing this out to the nth degree and it works sweet as sweet can be. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. Muse.ai. I like it. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win your life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win in life. I never miss that.